Good morning, you guys. I am standing out front of my hotel, the Alder Hotel Uptown. I loved my night here. I absolutely loved it. We're on the very top floor, the 10th floor on the back side. We have an actual beautiful view of the city and the houses and everything. There's a hotel next to, I mean a hotel, ha, ah, there's a hospital next to us. You ready? We slept in. Trevon and Chris walked to get bagels while me and Minara got ready. And we're going to the Voodoo Museum right now. No. Yes? We're no. Get Fine, we're getting coffee and beignets. Yes. What time is it, please? 1.30. It's 1.30. We're going to get coffee and beignets. We're going to Voodoo Museum. We're going to walk around the French Quarter during the day. And then we have a ghost tour tonight, so it's going to be fun. We don't need to stop and get breakfast because I ate my leftover half of an entire poor boy sandwich from yesterday, and it was so good, even in the microwave. It was Nobody good. Oh no. Well, they spelled theirs out poor boy. I know. And a lot of people say po boy. But since they specifically said poor boy, he didn't. Just trying to not be racist. You didn't eat yours. You have to eat that and your shrimp because you can't waste it. <laughs> I just got in the car and noticed. I think you cooked it. <laughs> it's literally. Look, that's how bad the sun is. It was light green yesterday. Oh Feel it. Oh, hot cooked banana. It's probably ripe too. Oh my God, that's what happens to your skin right here. It's cooked. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the carriage under the trees, Minara. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's 2.08. We are literally three miles away from the French Quarter, our hotel. However long I told you the time stamp before, it's how long it take, took to get into a parking spot. We're in a parking spot. You can, it's three dollars an hour. You can only do two hours at one time. And I remember we had to be back here at four o'clock. Hi, so everyone knows that I don't carry purses because I don't like any purses, but I finally found a purse that I actually like fell in love with and I had to have it. So, it's so awesome. It's, it literally looks like me. I didn't know it bats on the side to hold the things on. Yep. Wow. It is honest to God, like the coolest purse I've ever seen in my life. It is. And I love it so much. It wasn't even that much. Cool. It was $45. 45 Which isn't that bad at all. No, like not for a purse. Like this one was 120 Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to so. show them your earrings? So yeah, we've got in here, it's called Roadkill. And it's uh, like a Louisiana thing. I looked online. You can look on Amazon, actually. They have it, I think. And you can't film in there, but it's awesome. It's awesome. So awesome. Awesome clothes, like pinup girl style. Mm -hmm. And what's that called? Uh, steampunk. steampunk. And yeah. cool stuff, man. Oh, Travon was trying on these cool suit jackets that are made oh, out of sequins. And she got those earrings. We're gonna clean them before she wears them. I am them, but. so very, oh. very happy. Actually, here's the kind of stuff you can see inside. I w thought I was gonna get her that voodoo doll purse, but it's more like me than her. Yeah. But see, you see things like these clothes in there. Hope you can see because of the glare. That is so cool. And cool men's yeah. uh, jackets and stuff. It is it just one of the coolest shoes. Ever, honestly. Yeah. Very, it was very cool. Enough. No eating beignets in this store. Thank you. <laughs> Only in New Orleans, right? <laughs> hey, it's messy. <laughs> it's true. Are you ready for Cafe Du Monde? I am so excited. I'm ready. There it is. Original French market. Here it is, you guys. This place is crowded, man. Look at all the horse and carriage rides over there. There's a lot of people, readers, that do fortune, I don't know, card, tarot card readers and stuff over there. Oh, it's really neat. Okay, you guys, you probably can't read the menu from this far away, but um, their drink is their specialty, half coffee and half hot milk, regular decaf, 273 or 410. And then it's, um, what is the percentage of chicory? Is it half and half, their coffee? I don't know the But it's hard chicory yeah. because of the shortage of coffee during the war or something. I don't know if it was during the war or back when they first opened this. Oh, so they started putting chicory in it and, okay. Um, the beignets, you get three for two seventy three. That's cheaper than Disney. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're open 24 hours and they are cash only. Look, you guys, this is the mug I got. I like the, I like this one, the way it looks. It's like their classic design. 
615, isn't that Chief? Oh, maybe I can message him. And yeah, uh, please. he knows me. Here are he their me, souvenirs, which are all very affordable. Beignet time. <laughs> I have wanted to do this for so long. This is amazing. Oops. Oh, look at this. I'm right oh. down there. Okay, for you guys, the total is 32 25. Okay, here's my beignets. Oh, it's hot. Imagine that going in your mouth. Oh, God, no. I'm so sorry that you took a drink of that. Here's the coffee. It was only six dollars. That's the coffee. why they put caution hot over McDonald's. And people are stupid. They just take a big lump out. Look, the original French market coffee yeah, stand serving cave au lait and hot beignets, 24 hours a day, year round. This familiar New Orleans landmark has been located in the French Quarter since 1862. Oh my lord, they're not hollow. Only ones I've ever had is Disney. They're heavy and they're solid and they're not very greasy tasting. Mm, so doughy and delicious. Mm, yeah. Okay, thank you. We're getting ready to embark on a restroom experience. He's telling everybody. And then one man just came out and he goes, What did he say? That was an experience. That was an experience. It's funny because we can't see the bathroom, so we just know that you go around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and to the beyond we go. It's our turn. What restroom or a woman? It was snow in here. They're both locked. <laughs> Shoot. You walked her, right? I just wanted her to walk to the off my hands. We're done. <laughs> I just love the things you experience while traveling. <laughs> oh my god. Definitely. So the boys went to put more money in the machine, the parking machine, for two more hours. We're going to the Voodoo Museum. Oh my god. Wow. It's <laughs> so cool. Wow. We saw the most disturbing thing ever. What? So you know the dude? Oh, there's ladies with their boobs painted right there. Just like in New York City, Minara. <laughs> Minara, ladies with their boobs painted. Oh, you want to take a photo? Yeah. You did New York City. That was different. But they they were there more of like a. Wow, yeah. Chris is like different vibes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give him a tip. The historic New Orleans Voodoo Museum is a five minute walk from here. Here's Jackson Square, you guys. Oh my God, the coffee was so good. The beignets were so good. You can buy a can. Oh, I'd like to. And the hotel last night was so nice. We're there again tonight. I just have to say that again, because I really enjoyed it. I felt very comfortable and relaxed, and it was very clean and nice. Jackson Square. Welcome to Jackson Square. The site of the Louisiana Purchase in 1803. Ah. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> this is the site of the Louisiana Purchase, Trevon. Do you know that? Wow. How much they purchase it for? I don't know. I don't think it says. Somebody probably watching my video knows. Come on, you guys. I, I, I know. I knew the answer at one time, but I can't recall. It's been a long time. Do you know? You're younger. How much did they purchase Louisiana for? Five dollars. <laughs> that was a lot of money back then. Yeah. <laughs> We're going into the cathedral there, Trevon wants to see it. 
And I'm gonna look at this tattoo around the here, around the corner. 15 million. They bought it for 15 million mm -hmm. back in 1800? Yeah. But the the state, of state of Louisiana. Oh, what was it? Right. No, I don't remember. It's from the Mississippi River West. It's 13 states <gasps> worth of land. Wow. That's they a good deal. It. That was three cents per acre. Who did they buy from? The Spanish? French. Spanish. This is what I was talking about. They have readers on the square, henna, um, all kinds of stuff. Art. Tarot card wars. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a good reality show. Oh wow, look at this. <laughs> Palm reading. Are we going the wrong way? No, we're going to go on this. So we're this way? Down. Fine. If you hold it like this, it's going to take you facing this way. That thing confuses me. I got lost all over New York City, okay? You just got to do it right. And you also oh. have to use reference. Okay, I just want to make sure we were going the right direction. I do love just walking around these streets though. I really feel relaxed and um, nice and it's, I love it. I'm having a really, really good, good time. So we're walking down this road. I'll tell you how many dollars I've gone through today and yesterday. There's talented people out here. So cool. You need to bring a lot of money for tips here though. You do, really. Walking down the road to the museum, you see these socks. I'm like, oh my gosh, Tremonti's with socks. And then he sees the Trump voodoo doll and then he just went in the store. Now I'm sure I can't film in here like every other store here, but I'm gonna go inside. Here they are. Hmm. Pins included. So socks were no go. We were gonna get them, but the print, you know, uh, was on the same side on both pairs. So one side would be facing outward and the other side would be facing that same way. Yeah. Never seen printed socks like that before. They're always in the right places. New Orleans. And then the underwear he was looking at, Chris, tell him. I said, okay, literally, none of my underwear had tags on it and it was on a sale rack. So I said, $2? <laughs> maybe $12. And then Amy went and asked. Like yeah. Amy went and asked she's like, $20. And I was like. Just a pair of cotton briefs. Okay. Literally. Like, put them right water. back. It's not even like it has like rhinestones. <laughs> and then I try to think about it. I'm like, okay, well maybe she means twenty dollars half so off. No. After you buy them, when you go to like to return them. We turn left here, I think. Value. Oh man, nope. Put those back on the rack. Is the sidewalk like a road? Mm. I swear to God. I mean, you should have courtesy where you stay on your side. I mean, Some like, places don't. If we're on a road, I mean, wouldn't you think like? Right would be this way and left would be this way. I would feel like that'd be more mm -hmm. people this normal. I honestly just look at the like little houses. I shouldn't have to go like this to let somebody go by when there's a whole walkway. Same. No, you mean when a whole I'm group's coming for you and none of them can dance and then you just have saying, nowhere I'm to go? You're just like, like, like mind my own business. I'm like, okay, the group, we're just all gonna kind of shuffle into a line. Yeah, like I would do. Choose me. And then they get mad at you and bump into them. Yeah, if, if they bump into you, I don't bump into them, okay? That's the difference. <laughs> You're in their they way. You. You're in their way. Okay. <gasps> Look, New Orleans Historic Photo Museum. Ha ha ha. I'm excited. <laughs>